What's going on guys? IFBB Pro John De La Rosa here. We're here at the Dragon's Lair about to get a back workout in. We are here today. I want to show you before I get into the gym what I normally do. This is my pre-workout ritual. I get in here, we start chatting, you know, catching up with the guys. But in the meantime, I'm also getting ready to get my workout in and get the nutrients in that I need during my workout. So first thing I do is load up my carb HD. Take a nice scoop of that. I'll add some creatine and some glutamine to that. This car product is amazing. It tastes great. It's got cluster dextrin in there as well, which is the best carb you can put in your into your uh, into your intra workout drink. Then I do some intra HD as well. Before obviously everything, I'll do my pre HD, which is before I get into the gym, give me some energy, give me some focus. So we're gonna I'm gonna show you how I do that now. I just take a big scoop. Down the hatch, we're ready to go. Guys, we're here at the lat pull down machine. This is normally where I start um, to warm up. I'll do three or four lighter sets just to make sure my shoulders and everything's warmed up properly. Then I'll start moving up in weight. I either start here or pull ups. Um, again, I just really like the movement to warm up my back, to prime my back for the rest of the, the workout that I'm gonna do. Normally it's a bunch of rows, but for whatever reason, this really uh, allows me to get a lot of blood volume into the muscle, and again, prime me for the rest of the workout. So we're gonna get started here. Well, again, we're gonna progressively increase the weight as we uh, warm up and continue putting more load on the, on the back. Right, guys we're about to get started here on this arsenal strength low row uh, one of my favorite pieces actually for back of all time uh, the handles on it are great the angles that it me helps me get into are, are phenomenal so when you get started here you're gonna see me and flex hit this a lot during our training for the Olympia uh, I'm here alone today we're gonna get started I'm gonna push as hard as I can see you guys in a second paying attention you might see that I'm using an underhand grip or using the grip the handle that allows for an underhand grip there are a multitude of angles you can use on this which is what makes this machine great but for me I get the most engagement with an underhand grip it's just for me it's the most natural position I guess you could say um, anything too supinated hurts my, my forearms I get too bound up in here but this angle here it allows a very natural a grip for me and I get a really really great contraction again you can use this machine in a multitude of different different angles but for me that's the best so give it a try if you guys like it for me it's improved my back I think tenfold from the season before so So here we are, this is our third movement. Um, I'm gonna do some rows that you guys will notice. I do a lot of rows for my back. Um, I do believe it's, uh, it's helped my back build tissue tremendously. So we're gonna do this uh, for about four or five sets. We're gonna obviously increase the weight each set as we go on. But uh, you'll see that I'm gonna do a little bit of a different um, variation of this. Normally you would sit and uh, reach forward and pull. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna brace myself here and I'm gonna really overstretch and then uh, pull back and, and really get a strong contraction in my lap. All 
All right, guys, so you'll notice that today I'm focusing a lot on machines, I'm not doing a lot of free weights, um, like bent over rows, barbell rows, and dumbbell rows, or anything like that. I'm doing that specifically today because I don't have a training partner. It's a lot easier for me to just throw some weight on a machine and really focus on that contraction. So that's what I'm doing today. Obviously, we're not um, going lighter. We're still pushing ourselves, but uh, it's a little bit safer when you don't have a spot or somebody around to make sure that things are going smoothly. So that's why I'm using, I'm using a lot of the machines today. Um, again, there's no lack of effort there. We're just going to be a little bit safer. So we're gonna get started here again. Um, I wanna show you guys a little bit, again, why I do this and what the reason why I do it. I do it for me. I do this because I get a really, really good, strong contraction in the lat. The key is to not when you're, when you're over stretching the way that I do, the key is to really make sure you get your chest back up on the contraction. What that's gonna do is really shorten that lat and get a really, really good heart um, contraction. When you open up and you round out your back, you're gonna stretch the lat out very, very wide. So that's the idea behind it. I'll show you guys how I get it done again. Really let, it, let the lat stretch, and then we're gonna come up and get your chest up as you're pulling. So we're here, I'm about to get on to my second set of these low rows. You guys might notice I'm using these instead of your usual V-bar. Again, it goes back to what I was mentioning earlier about the low row with the arsenal piece. It allows for a more comfortable position for me. I do have a lot of forearm um, issues. Uh, there's a lot of muscle here. So anytime I try to supinate or do anything that puts a lot of tension in my forearm, starts to cramp up, I get a lot of pain in them. So what this allows is for me to get into a comfortable position where I can still get maximum, maximum contraction, but also, you know, be comfortable doing it. You know, it's really important in the years that I've been doing this to find uh, what works best for you without creating injury. So uh, like I said, we're gonna get into the second exercise, or second set here. And you guys will see that I'm able to get into a really good comfortable groove um, not get any forearm pain and get the best contraction I can in my back. Alright guys, so we're just finishing up this back workout. I wanted to touch up some of the questions that I get on my Instagram or at Expos and everybody always wants to know how do I build a big back? So I admittedly hated my back for years. I, I wanted to get my back thick and muscular like a Ronnie Coleman or like Joel Stubbs or you know any of those guys with this crazy back. So I was working, working, working through these years and making progress but very slow progress. And one of the things that I remember asking Phil Heath actually about was how he built such a great back because his back when he first got into the league was not uh, great. Uh, it was a good back, but not great. And now he has one of the greatest backs of all time. So one of the things he told me was just row. Um, and I remember looking back in my workouts and I was doing a lot of lat pull downs and pull ups and so on and so forth. Um, and then when I started to switch from a lot of those movements to a lot of the rows, dumbbell rows, barbell rows, uh, seated machine rows, whatever it was, my back started to put on that tissue that I needed. So I think the best advice that I can give anybody out there looking to build more tissue on their back, the first one is it's really hard to engage with your back because we can't see what's going on back there. So leave your ego at the door, lower the weights, really learn to engage and contract. The second thing is do a lot of fucking rows and you'll grow. So one of the things I wanted to address with you guys is you might not see any deadlifts being done for me for a number of years actually and this is one of the biggest myths that I think uh, I hear a lot about building a great back is you need to do deadlifts um, just like doing deadlifts thickens your waist or widens your waist as a myth so is get needing to do deadlifts to get a thick muscular back you don't need to do deadlifts to get a thick muscular back like I said for me it's all about contraction engaging with that muscle and squeezing the shit out of it with 
the weight that you can, that you're able to get a very good, strong contraction. So as I said earlier, leave your ego at the door, get really, really good, strong contractions and do what works for you. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be deadlifts. It doesn't necessarily have to be this machine. You can do things that work for you. Just go in the gym, have fun, find that out and keep hammering away. Man, my back is lit up. Sometimes it's good to just get in the gym on your own and mess around, feel some things and connect. You can really, really focus on what you're doing. Today's workout was no joke. Thank you guys for tuning in. We're gonna go get our post-workout in and uh, continue on with our day. Thank you guys.